what is keeping unemployed Coloradans away from open positions? Tonight, we're taking a 360 look at the issue, hearing from many different voices. Ivan Rodriguez begins our coverage with some restaurant owners facing an uphill battle. Inside Bigsby's Falling, they're preparing for another big rush of customers. Even though this family-owned business is grateful for every reservation, Marla Yedka didn't expect it to be so hard to reopen. You know, my husband and I were, we're working, you know, 80 hour plus weeks and, you know, when we'd love to be out here talking to guests, we're in the kitchen and washing dishes. This problem has gotten worse since January when they were able to reopen indoor dining at 25% capacity. In the last few months since everyone's been vaccinated, we've really seen an increase in demand and we've actually had to shut it down. We've had to cut off reservations. Over in the Highlands, Bardot is seeing a similar hiring problem. A lot of people have decided to choose a different, maybe less volatile uh, market, or at least in this climate. Yetka says it can even be difficult to connect with job seekers. She says out of 20 job interviews she set up, half never showed up. We're, you know, up all night just worried about like how are we going to make it through you know the next service and you know make sure everyone's taken care of making it harder for this family-owned business and so many others to truly open up and bounce back from an already difficult year ivan rodriguez denver seven